guys, I'm Jesse the Reader and welcome to Epic Adaptations where I wrap up all your monthly YA book to movie and TV news. We've got loads of exciting things happening in the YA book to adaptation world and I'm so excited to talk about it today. First off, let's talk about the books that have been picked up by some studios to be turned into films because there are quite a few. Saw to the Sea by Rita Sepetis, which is a book that I love and highly recommend. If you haven't read it, go read it now. Was picked up by Universal Pictures to be turned into a film. It's set to be produced by the producer of Transformers. His name is complicated to say, but I'm going to attempt it. It is Lorenzo Di Bonaventura. I think that's how you say it. I could be terribly wrong. Salt to the Sea is a young adult historical fiction story based off the events that took place in 1945 on board the Wilhelm Gustloff. And like I said, it's fantastic. I highly recommend checking it out. I know this is epic adaptations and not Jesse Recommends, but I'm just gonna push this book on you. Go read it! Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith was picked up by Lauren Graham, and if you don't know who Lauren Graham is, Gilmore Girls, Lorelai Gilmore, hello, where have you been? Have you been living under a rock? Because if you have, you should get yourself out of that rock and go watch Gilmore Girls right now. It's fantastic. The film was picked up by Lauren Graham's production company called Good Game Productions. Windfall follows a girl who buys her best friend a lottery ticket for his 18th birthday, and what do you know, he ends up winning the lottery. Unfortunately, this causes a bit of a rift in their friendship when the money begins to get to her friend's head. Unearthed by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, which I must point out, the book hasn't even been released yet, was picked up to be turned into a film. It was picked up by Columbia Pictures. The film is to be directed by Doug Lehman, who is also directing the book-to-movie adaptation for the Chaos Walking trilogy by Patrick Ness. Tyler Thompson will produce the film, and he's also worked on a book-to-movie adaptation. He worked on Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. The story is a sci-fi adventure following these two characters who attempt to save the world from disaster. The Land of Stories by Chris Colfer has been picked up by 20th Century Fox, and the really exciting thing about this film is the fact that Chris Colfer will actually be writing the screenplay, and he will also be directing the film. Normally authors don't get to be this involved when it comes to their books being turned into films, but Chris is going to have his hands deep into this adaptation. And Sean Levi will be producing the film, he's worked on things like Stranger Things, and he's also currently working on The Darkest Minds, which is another book to movie adaptation, so I've got high hopes for this adaptation. This series follows these two twins who fall into this fantasy world and take on this epic adventure. MGM Studios has picked up David Levithan's Every Day, and we already have major casting news for the film. Angari Rice will be starring in the film, she'll be taking on the lead role. It will be directed by Michael Scusi, who worked on The Vow, and the screenplay has been written by none other than Jesse Andrews, author of Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. And production for this project begins in July, so that means they're moving pretty quickly on this project. Every Day follows this character who wakes up every day with a different body and a different life. I don't think I'd want that for myself, but it sounds pretty interesting. Next up, we have some exciting casting news. First up, the movie adaptation for the book Someone Else's Summer by Rachel Bateman has casted its leading actress. Bailey Madison will be taking on the role of Anna in this book-to-movie adaptation. The story follows this girl named Anna who loses her sister to this tragic accident, and she honors her sister's life by finishing her sister's summer bucket list. The book-to-movie adaptation for Dumplin' by Julie Murphy has also casted its leading actress. Danielle McDonald will be starring as Willow Dean Dixon. The story follows a girl who enters a beauty pageant just to spite her mother, and in doing so, she kind of changes up the pageant scene. The last thing that I'm going to be sharing with you is kind of weird news, and I don't really know how to feel about it, but it is very interesting. We're apparently getting a Harry Potter sequel series following Voldemort. The series will actually be based off this fan-made trailer that went viral, and it's been approved by Warner Brothers. As far as I understand, it will be completely fan-made, but it's just being backed by Warner Brothers. If you want to look up this trailer, then search on YouTube, Voldemort, Origins of the Air trailer. That's all the epic adaptation news I have for you guys today. As always, I will be down in the comments chatting it up with you guys on all the news that I mentioned in today's video. So let me know down below which book to movie adaptation you are most looking forward to, or let me know your thoughts on the casting news, or just let me know how you feel about this Voldemort series we're getting. If you like this video, be sure to go and hit that like button, and also subscribe to Epic Reads for more epic videos. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next month for another epic adaptations.